What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I live in Orlando and I love to make shopping videos, home decor videos, shopping hauls. I love to shop at like Target, Walmart, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those fun stores. I love to show you what is new so you can know what to look for the next time you go out shopping. So if you love home decor, shopping hauls, or if you just are a fan of Target or Starbucks, you're definitely gonna love it here. We're gonna be friends. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is a home goods shop with me. I'm super excited. I haven't shopped at this particular home goods in a really long time, so I'm hoping they'll have a ton of brand new stuff for me to share with you guys. It's a home goods Marshalls combo store, so I'll also probably shop a little bit on the Marshalls side trying to find a coral shirt for Brian. So probably gonna peruse in the men's section a little bit. Maybe we can put together an outfit together. But I'm really excited to get into Home Goods and see what they have this week. Every single time I go, it's just a totally different adventure. I always try to look at different stuff. Please let me know down below what you love about Home Goods. Like what are your favorite sections? What are things you wish I showed more of? That feedback would be super helpful to me. So please make sure to leave a comment down below with what you would love to see me shop more of at Home Goods. But with all of that being said, let's head inside and see what Home Goods has for us this week. That way you can know what to look for this week when you go to Home Goods. Over by the checkout, they have these prints. I'm actually like obsessed with these. They look so nice. The matting, the textured paper, and it's like painted onto here. And the frames are really nice. This is only $20. This is so nice. I also like this one too. It's again, it's kind of like lifted off of the back. So it's kind of like 3D-ish. $20 as well. The frame is different. It's not wood. It's like metallic gold, but similar. Like like watercolor paint idea. These are very, very pretty. So this one they have in yellow and then they also have it down here in pink. It's upside down, but these are so, so pretty. I seriously feel like I'm in like pretty rattan basket heaven today. There are so many new like pretty baskets and little like wooden items. I'm in heaven. Like look at all of these. And then look at these. Oh my gosh, Studio McGee who. Look at these beautiful like cane rattan boxes. They have a couple different sizes and they just open up. They have a cute little lid. I'm obsessed. Look at these as well. They're like heart shaped baskets. These would be really cute if you wanted to do like a rattan basket wall in like a little girl's room with these little like heart baskets. <laughs> these are so cute. I'm obsessed with this little like chip and dip thing. This is like sitting in there. It comes with the little ramekin. The chips could go all around it. I do think it would make a little bit of a mess like underneath because little chip crumbs could fall through, but you could easily wipe them up. This is so so cool. I have not seen a little chip and dip thing like this ever. And this is at the store right now for $14.99. So this is a really cool piece of furniture. I wish it was like on wheels almost, but it's really, really neat. It has these like reflective drawers and it pulls out and it's like this and it like almost looks like you could push or pull it, but this would be a perfect place for like decorative little like hand towels. And then underneath it opens up into like a little island. So this would be so perfect if you don't have a kitchen island in your house and you have more of like a modern industrial style. This is a perfect solution if you are looking for an island or you want an island. It's like a faux island and then all you would have to do is just buy some counter height stools. This is so cool. Fun fact, random. This was the exact color of my bedroom as a teenager. My mom was nice enough to give me the freedom to allow me to paint my bedroom whenever I wanted, whatever color I wanted, and this was the final color before she finally just recently redid it and turned it into a guest room. It was this really obnoxious teal color. I think it was called Ultimate Teal by Sherwin-Williams, but yeah, it was literally this exact color. I found it to be extremely calming. This is pretty. I feel like they don't have like regular six drawer dressers that often, but I really like the like design of it. It kind of is giving like Jesus fish vibes, if you can see that, like if you cut that off, that's what I thought it was in the beginning, and I'm like, wait, that would be kind of random. But yeah, they just have a little six drawer dresser, white drawers on the inside, and it's like a mix of like warm and cool tone on the top, but it has a really smooth finish, and it is $800. This is an epic, stand-up mirror apparently it's upside down 
but it's huge I know it's like so hard to tell the size like in a video like here I am and it is just absolutely massive and it is $200 I'm obsessed with this it's like a mix of a bookshelf little covered shelves open shelf so that's cool because if you have some stuff you want to hide there's like storage for that all mixed in and then you could like style these shelves this is gorgeous i wish we had room for something like this in our apartment it's a good price too it is 300 dollars. i know it's hard to get an idea of like what the full scope of it is because this other piece of furniture is in front of it but it's super, super tall, probably like at least five feet tall. I just stood next to it so I could get a better idea of how tall it is. It's actually like six feet tall, just for reference. I actually have another dresser. This is like a really big three drawer dresser. This one's really pretty and modern. Really nice pull out, like huge, huge drawers. It's like a really pretty chocolate brown color. And I think these are like soft closed drawers with these like metal bars that go across the whole thing. And this is $1,000. So definitely pricier, but it feels like a really nice piece of furniture okay one thing I love about my home home goods like the one I consider to be like my home goods um, is the manager even though she scares me to death <laughs> um, I don't think she would ever see this but if you do you're just a really strong woman and you scare me but I love that she cares a lot about like making the furniture displays like aesthetically pleasing I feel like that helps them drive more sales and sell more furniture when they put like items together the example I'm about to show you is like a bit extreme because it's really colorful but she does this all the time I've heard her say like when someone's like oh can you hold this for me or I'm gonna buy this she's like oh what other piece of furniture can we put there or like I don't like the way those things look together and I just really appreciate it because I definitely feel like it helps them drive more sales and it does make it a more like pleasant shopping experience and I've definitely noticed that they do that here besides for hearing her talk about it but I go to a lot of home goods and this one does a really good job at putting all the furniture together okay like I said this is like a really extreme example with this like bright red color but you see how they like pair like a piece of artwork with a lamp and a decorative chair and another piece of decor like all together to help you get like the vision plus like an end table. I just really love that they do that. Okay, here is another example and this is more like coastal farmhouse. So they have like the chair with the stripe matched with the pillow. I actually really like that pillow. Then they have a little like then they have a little accent table that would look really good with it as well as another option of a little accent table some decor and a lamp and a piece of artwork i just like love how they match stuff together a lot of people myself included just really struggle to like see the big picture it's really easy to like find little items that you like or like individual items but like you don't know if it's going to come together and I struggle with that a lot if you guys saw my entryway transformation video I really talked about it and spent a while just kind of like airing out my frustrations and like wh where I thought I was going wrong just to make like a really realistic video about decorating a space because it doesn't come easy to me it doesn't come easy to most people so I just really appreciate that they do that I feel like it helps a lot this desk is so, so, so pretty. Like the tone of the wood is like not too cool tone, not too warm, it's like a really nice mix. And then it has this like detailing right here that is like a gold, like geometric detailing. It's super modern. The legs are really, really nice too. This is such a beautiful desk for $250. Oh my gosh, this chair to me just screams Spaceship Earth. Like. I don't know, one of the like scenes at the end that you walk by when it used to be like a moving walkway. Or maybe like the carousel of progress, like the final scene. I don't know, something about this is like screaming some sort of Disney ride, but I can't put my finger on it and I know you guys will know. So if this reminds you of something at Disney or a particular ride, leave a comment down below of what it is. They have this really cool like oven. It's really, really cool. Someone is buying it. They're currently still shopping, but I wanted to show this to you. It's $250 and it says Terrace Oven Half Round Rust. So that's really, really cool. Just wanted to show it to you. They have so many like fun outdoor items. I love these plant stands. They have like a really big one and then a smaller one, but I just think they're very pretty. If you want to add some height, and just get like a cute little neutral colored pot or not, whatever you like. For $16.99 for the small one, $24.99 for the big one. And then here's a picture of what it would look like in your home. But I don't know, I just think these are so pretty. And plant stands will be a thing of the past once fall gets here. So if you want one, definitely pick one up now. I just have like one question about this moth shoe and it's why. It literally makes me think like the Wicked Witch of the West, like they finally found like her foot under the house and they dug it up and this is it. I'm like so confused, like who, 
I, why? That's all I have to say is why. Oh my gosh, what are these? These are fancy as hell. They're like really fancy Italian, specifically Florence serving trays. It says it's 100% handmade with embellished gold, copper, and silver leaf, handcrafted by skillful decorators using different Florentine traditional techniques from the 14th century. Oh my God, how much is this? Okay, I knew right when I picked it up it wasn't gonna be expensive because it's like very light. It is $24.99. It's very pretty from far away, but when you pick it up it feels like really, really cheap. They have it in this pretty red color in this blue color, which is like a bit of a different shape. They also have it in round with like sage green, and then that like similar sage green blue color in a like bigger rectangle. I am obsessed with this little dining chair. It is so, so cute. It doesn't come with a pillow, I don't believe. I think that is separate. I did see two more of these chairs over with all the rest of the furniture. This is, of course, the brand I have been so obsessed with here, Tropical Elements. It's $100. I feel like if you could find a set of four, these are gorgeous dining chairs. The quality honestly feels and looks so, so nice. I'm obsessed. Okay, now let's head over into the Marshall side. Like I said to you guys in the car, I need to find Brian an outfit for his like family photo shoot that we'll have while we're on vacation. So I'm trying to find him a coral shirt and white shorts and they always have like a million button down short sleeve options in the summer. So hopefully I can find something. Okay, this isn't at all what I just described, but I did just find this penguin t-shirt and I'm pretty sure penguin is like a pretty good brand. And look at the pocket. It has like cute little pineapples all over it. I kind of want to get this for him too, like just as a surprise. Well, that could be kind of perfect. I could do like this shirt with the navy shorts. That would also follow the little guidelines too that we were given. That is so cute. I also love this like linen yellow one. It looks like super light for the summer, but Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This Michael Kors one is really, really nice too. I found this at another store, but again, it's in a medium and I feel like he would need a large. And I also found these white Calvin Klein shorts, um, but I don't think these are the right size, but they gave me hope that potentially I will be able to find nice white shorts for him. So I'm definitely like finding stuff that would be perfect, like these white shorts, this shirt, but I'm gonna have to go to a few more stores to be able to find these items in his size. Real talk, I was planning to leave, but it's torrential downpouring, so I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Looks like they are starting to put summer sandals on clearance. These are very in trend. We've talked a lot about like braided sandals, in style sandals, square toed, things like that. These honestly feel like really, really comfortable, and they are on clearance for $24. Like for real, a lot of these sandals have clearance stickers on them, so I definitely think they're starting to make room for fall stuff. Oh, she's trendy, she's fashion forward, she's a croc. Steve Madden makes like croc wannabes now. Remember when everyone thought these were hideous? I've always loved them, not these like traditional shaped crocs i love like the croc flats i'll put a picture so that you can see i would always wear like the croc alice flats to work like when i was a manager at disney and i always thought they were really cute and comfortable and most people couldn't tell they were crocs but then they would find out they were crocs and think that they were ugly even though they always thought that they were cute Personally, I don't think I would wear these, but I'm sure they are extremely comfortable. And if white is not your color, they also come in a black version. I don't know if someone abandoned this cart, but I guess they do actually sell name brand Crocs here. These hair clips are definitely making a comeback. I've seen them at all the stores. I just actually purchased some on Amazon. They're gonna come in a couple days. So I will link the ones that I purchased down below. They're kind of similar to this. I just wanted like really simple ones. I didn't want ones like this. I wanted metal ones kind of like this, but just more simple. So. I'll link the ones I purchased down below. The pretty baskets continue in the checkout line. That's actually the tall ones that I showed you in the beginning. But I wanted to come in here to show you these. These are so pretty. Perfect coffee table basket. This would look so perfect because of the black accents on here. The like bamboo wood handles and the different colors. They also have different sizes. I'm in love. They honestly have like all different shapes, sizes, even different like colors. So if you're looking for a basket, now is the time to shop at Home Goods. 
Alrighty, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for me today. If you haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Please let me know what was your favorite thing I showed in today's video as well, but that is gonna be it for me. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.